As always, it is so great to be here with you. You know, I've told you this in the past, if it wouldn't be for you, none of this would be possible. So once again, I just wanna let you know how much I deeply appreciate every single one of you. Anyways, today is the first day of spring. Well, at least here in the Northern Hemisphere, which means salad season is upon us. So with that being said today, I'm gonna show you how to make four very simple homemade dressings that are gonna take your salads to the next level of greatness. Now, the beauty of these homemade dressings is that they're all so easy to make. Like seriously, we're talking effortless to put together. They're made with the most basic ingredients and each one is done within minutes, folks. Not only is dressing super delicious, but they're so much healthier and tastier than any of the dressings they sell at the supermarkets. All right, let's dive into the recipes. For the first dressing, we're making a very basic and simple vinaigrette. Now, don't let the name for you here a basic vinaigrette. Yes, because it's basic doesn't mean it lacks in flavors. In fact, it has the most amazing flavors. And let me tell you, this is my favorite go-to dressing when I'm making salads at home. Let's begin by adding in half a cup of extra virgin olive oil into a jar that has a lid on it, which is 120 milliliters. To make these dressings, you can also use a bowl with a whisk. Then I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of sherry vinegar, which is 30 milliliters. You can also use red wine vinegar here. One clove of garlic that's been finely minced. One tablespoon of finely chopped fresh parsley, which is four grams. If you don't have fresh parsley, you can substitute it for half the amount of dried parsley. Then we'll add in a quarter teaspoon of fine sea salt, which is about one and a half grams, and a dash of freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give this a quick shake. That way all the ingredients are well mixed. Once again, if you're using a bowl to make these dressings, just use a whisk to bring the ingredients together. And check it out, our first dressing is done, a very basic and simple vinaigrette. But like I told you at the beginning, it's very simple, but it's got such a beautiful depth of flavors to it. Truly the perfect dressing for any type of salad. But the best part, minimum ingredients, and it came together within minutes. All right, let's move on to the second recipe. We are making a delicious honey mustard dressing. This is a powerhouse of a dressing. It's sweet and savory. It's absolutely delicious. And once again, it's gonna work perfect with any type of salad. Let's begin by adding in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil into a jar that has a lid on it, which is 60 milliliters. Then I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, which is 32 grams. Two tablespoons of honey, which is 42 grams. To veganize this, you can also use agave syrup. One tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, which is 15 milliliters. You can substitute this for white wine vinegar. Then we'll add in half a teaspoon of fine sea salt, which is three grams, and a dash of freshly cracked black pepper. And once again, we'll give this a quick shake. That way all the ingredients can come together. And check it out, our second dressing is done truly, a beautiful honey mustard dressing, so easy to make. And like I told you at the beginning, it's sweet and savory and it truly works perfect with any type of salad. All right, moving down the list to the third recipe, we're making a creamy ranch dressing. Now this is ranch that is actually healthy for you since we're gonna be using Greek yogurt here. And let me tell you, it's got so many beautiful flavors to it and it works perfect for a salad or even as a dipping sauce for either roasted potatoes or a baguette for an incredible snack. Let's begin by adding a three quarters of a cup of Greek yogurt into a jar with a lid on it, which is about 160 grams. Then I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of cold water, which is 30 milliliters. The water is gonna help thin out the yogurt. One teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, which is five milliliters. One clove of garlic that's been finely minced and half a tablespoon of dried dill, which is one and a half grams. Then we'll add in half a teaspoon of fine sea salt, which is three grams, and a generous portion of freshly cracked black pepper. The black pepper brings out an incredible flavor in the Greek yogurt. And once again, we'll give this a quick shake, that way all the ingredients are well mixed and the dressing comes together. 
And check it out, our third recipe's done, a creamy ranch dressing filled with so many great flavors and super easy to make. But the best part is that this is an actual ranch dressing that's healthy for you thanks to that Greek yogurt. You know, you can pour this over salads for an incredible salad, but you can also use it as a dip for roasted potatoes or even a crunchy baguette for an incredible snack. All right, we've made it to our fourth and final recipe. We are talking a balsamic vinaigrette. Now this is a vinaigrette that has so many different layers of flavors to it and it truly works perfect with any type of salad. Let's begin by adding in half a cup of extra virgin olive oil into a jar with a lid on it, which once again is 120 milliliters. Then we'll add in two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, which is 30 milliliters. Two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, which is about 11 grams. One clove of garlic that's been finely minced. One shallot that's been finely minced as well. And one tablespoon of finely chopped parsley, which is four grams. Once again, you can substitute this for half the amount of dried parsley. Then we'll add in a quarter teaspoon of fine sea salt, which is one and a half grams. And a dash of freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give this a shake, that way all the ingredients can come together. And once again, if you're using a bowl, you just whisk all the ingredients and you're still gonna end up with a beautiful dressing. I like to use a jar with a lid, that way later on I can store the dressing in that jar. And there it is, our fourth and final dressing is done, a balsamic vinegar vinaigrette, super easy to make, loaded with so many different layers of flavors, and it came together within a couple minutes. You know, all four of these dressings will hold in the fridge between four to seven days, and they promise to take your next salads to the next level of greatness. You saw it, folks. Four very simple homemade salad dressings, all of them so easy to make, made with the most basic ingredients, but the best part, each one came together within just a couple minutes. Like I told you at the beginning, these are the kind of dressings that are gonna take your salads to the next level and truly so much tastier and healthier than any of the stuff you will buy at the supermarket. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Dark Matterer, Catherine Deshays, Karen Reynolds, Melissa Thurman, Leslie Tyson, and Alan Sanchez. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, and you'd like to support the show, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon that we can get notified when I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego. Incredible episode, four beautiful homemade dressings. These salads, folks, this is what I am having for lunch today. Those dressings are so good. Make these, you're gonna love them. See you next video, love you.